our interest as SA Day is not in political parties. To be brutally honest with you, our interest is in the people, and in this case, in the people of Mamalodi and the people of Chwane. I think let me first acknowledge that what an honour it is to be invited to be part of the initiative of the uh, Solomon of Mashongo Freedom Square uh, project. I think it's important that we note that uh, without the liberation heroes of the yesteryears, uh, we wouldn't have a liberal uh, rainbow nation of South Africa of today, where somebody such as myself can occupy a political office. In 2019, uh, Ford announced that they would be investing 15 billion rand into South Africa. And the award letter was issued on the 29th of January of 2020. Uh, Ford has made a commitment that they would be investing in South Africa, investing into our special economic zone, investing into the city up until the year 2030, where we will create tens of thousands of direct and indirect jobs. We will be working very hard together to fulfill the request that uh, Fort South Africa has made to South Africa Day during on the day when they were doing the handover of a Ford Ranger to South Africa Day. We have distinguished ourselves as leaders in terms of the makeover of South African towns and cities. We have suffered as a city quite, and I'm sorry MMC to an extent will speak to that, a huge blow in terms of increased vandalism of facilities and municipal assets. It's not unique to Tswani. The state that Solomon Matlangu is in is quite deplorable in comparison to what it was in when it got opened some few years ago. I have always been a believer that the, the extent of the participation of the local community and social partners will not only make it possible for us to get Solomon Matlangu to where it was, but it might actually be a correct intervention to sustain where we want it to be. As long as communities and social partners don't feel they are part of these things, it might be quite difficult for us to create an asset that local communities can associate with. Crime and grime um, is a problem for business. You cannot bring new economic activity into existence without investment. And businesses exist to solve problems. And so when we talk about SADA and the Community Investment Fund, you say, why do we want to set up an investment fund? Surely there's lots of these. We want to set up a Mama Lodi investment fund. And there's two funds that we want. There's one, companies have got obligations to do uh, enterprise development and, and, and um, preferential procurement and, and CSI and that type of thing. So there's that type of fund and there's an investment fund where you want to put money in, get a return on that investment, but it needs to be sitting in the community. The SO Day Mamalodi Investment Fund is there to provide entrepreneurs with on-the-ground access to capital. Our interest in the Mamalodi project is in, as Chris said, not colonizing the area, not trying to take over, just providing a platform to attempt to address some of the real challenges facing our country. And one of those big challenges is that small and micro enterprise are totally alienated and marginalized. That's the one systemic problem. The other systemic problem is that often in marginal areas and townships, there's infrastructure decay um, and there's a lack of obvious confidence in a particular area. So our role isn't to wave a magic wand, it's to come in and to try and find what areas we can assist with with our corporate members and our business members on the one hand and on the other hand to bring institutional capability and there are many examples of capital that just leaves a community and never comes back. And that is why the cycle of poverty hasn't been properly dealt with in South Africa. If a bread truck comes in here every morning from 50 kilometers away, it speaks to economic, a lack of economic alertness by the local business community. If any consumptive product 
drives in here every day and leaves with your money every day, it means that you aren't alert to what can be done locally. So our mission and our purpose is to try and grow strong towns and strong cities through embedded economies. Development happens because of local communities and people being committed to people-centered development in localized areas. South Africa Day is trying to create a platform for Mamalodi, not an organization. And by that I mean we've got to be very careful of what causes an organization. You've got the chairman and the deputy and, and, and you've got fiefdoms, okay, where they then defeat, defend their turf, you know, from that, etc. We want a platform that enables people to come on or leave if they want but not somebody who's going to be a gatekeeper for that. All right, so we don't want fiefdoms. We want people to, to it, it's got to be fully ac accessible. Then this is the way we will help solve the problem of poverty and unemployment. They say if you would like to walk fast, walk alone. But then they say if you would like to walk far, walk together. So it's going to be very important for us as part of this project to really do it together. When you speak about together, you know, you start thinking about things like taking hands. You think about Ubuntu, let's do it to the purpose and to the benefit of everybody. Let's talk about trust. Let's talk about passion, black and white, to take hands in such a way that we can show to the rest of the country that within Mamalodi, we can make it happen by taking hands and working together.